back down. So I'm not breaking it up since I'm in the same area. Book breaks it up into supination and then pronation, but I'm in the same area. So I'm going to do supination pronation without taking them one at a time. So it's a two for one. All right, so this would be palm up, resistant supination, turn palm down, resistant pronation. Okay, so you're not resisting out here. It's across the meta metacarpals. And then remember, it's moderate resistance. Now, what we do do for our isometric break test is we will go to that neutral position, okay? Don't let me uh, turn, your, turn your wrist. So you don't have to tell them, don't let me turn it down. Don't, just don't let me turn your wrist. Okay, hold, one, two, three. I'm gonna turn it the other way, hold, one, two, three. So one way I tried to supinate it, one way I tried to pronate it, that was five. Okay, so a three through five was regulated. Now, according to Norton and White, or excuse me, Daniels and Worthingham, you put the arm up here uh, and support it on the elbow, and then what you would do is start from the fully pronated position. Can you turn your uh, wrist out toward me? Okay, can you turn it back in towards you? That would be two, okay? Then a one is you have to know where uh, where the pronators are. Remember when we when we went this, this was the pronator teres, so it's going to be coming this way here for pronation. So you would have to feel from that supinated position, can you try to turn your hand palm down so the pronator would be right in there. Now the main supinator is not where they want you feeling it over here. The main supinator, uh, you'll learn in kinesiology, did you, did you learn the function of supinator? Nice. Um, uh, yeah. But how? It works in synergy with the biceps. The biceps is what is the most forceful supinator of the forearm. So the strength of supination is going to be coming from the biceps. So I'm going to put her hand pronated and say try to turn your uh, arm up and I can feel the, the biceps because we're, we're okay. Take a look at these. All right. So, pronation, supination. What's moving? Yeah, okay. So that's that's what does. So it's not as much flexion extension as it is uh, biceps. So uh, that's where I prefer. That that's going to be the supinator helps put that in a more advantageous position to supinate, but the strength of supination comes from that. <laughs> but your supinator is going to be off that lateral portion of the forearm. Uh, and I don't know if you'll be able to, it's actually kind of deep, so try to come up. Yeah, on, on normals, you can feel it, but on people who are only a one, I doubt you're gonna feel that uh, because it's, it's gonna be coming from here. And of course, if nothing happens, if their palm just stays down there, it's a zero. And if their palm would just stay this way, it's a zero for pronation. Okay, so let's go and do, I, it, you, can, you can try to do the, the distal uh, radial ulnar grip. I think it's awkward. I think it's much easier to do the shake hand grip uh, and resist. It just feels much more natural, okay? On the other side, you just have to shake hands, left hand. Okay, same thing. Okay. However, this assumes that you have some sort of flexibility in your own wrist. Okay. 